difficult thing in learning Tai Chi is called blind learning. That you know clearly it's wrong. You have to learn it. Because you've got to learn everything your teacher taught you. And then after 20 years, or some people after 8 years, and you say, this is what he said, but now I believe he's wrong. But I've got to tell you his original words. Because then you say, well, when I was learning Tai Chi, you know, on my fifth year, Master Chen said Master Hong was wrong. But after another 20 years, I realized Master Chen was wrong. So I can't halfway interchange, and you will never know the real story. The story must be kept. Yeah, so, the, so I'm also giving people a lot of inf information as a bridge, because when Hong wrote the book, I was there. And every time when we talked about up and down, and he pointed, he used his knee, and he never made this move. Okay, so in that case, I was physically there, I'll tell you, it did not move. So the movement here is that when you are, can you see this here? It did not move. This is called the knee is pointing up. This is called the knee is pointing down. The knee never moves. Okay, so, but to do that is too difficult. The best way at the very beginning is just to say it does not move, because that's the basis. Then later on, you start to understand it. Because without you having that stretch, so remember this thing here, the, this morning, the reason we spent so much time doing this is that without this stretch, none of the Taiji vocabulary will ever make any sense. The body has to go to a stage that it starts to stretch. You go closer than this. <laughs> like that, right? And so in the end, Hong kind of took pity. Like this young man is quite persistent. And he said, you know, he walked over and said, what are you trying to do? And I said, trying to do what you're doing. I said, no. That's, uh, that's not what we're doing. And it's just, you don't know what we're doing. I said, right. That's why, like, could you tell me what you're doing? <laughs> and so he says, uh, don't move. So I turn and I said, look, he's like, I know I didn't pay, but either you don't tell me or just don't give me that BS, right? He's like, don't move. I saw you guys do move all the time. And he says, well, it's like, you know, I thought you were a nice young man. He's like, how come you don't make sense? I said, well, you don't make sense. You guys are doing the for me, you tell me not to move. It's like, you don't want me to be here, then tell me to get lost, I won't come back. But tell me not to move, but you guys move. And uh, so that was the problem. Now you understand, because I don't understand what that means. And uh, so, uh, so I said, well, why don't you show me not to move? So he did a positive circle. And I saw. And then I was going to say, but you moved, right? But I also realized that the way he did it was different from the way I did it. And then he said, okay, he says, when I say don't move, it means don't move your head. Don't move your shoulder. Okay, and don't move. Watch now. Mm -hmm. Now, go. So you have to find a way to ensure the back does not move. But of course, if I don't tell you, and you go like this again, and you see, you can't see that. If I don't point that out, you just think I'm doing something, but you never know that my back never moves. But if I can show you that, I can also show you, mm -hmm, watch, you push again. Mm -hmm. But now my back moves, but it still works, because I did not move here. You decide which part of your body, but you have to learn and practice until you get the ability there is a body part that does not move. We live on this earth because there's always something solid for you.